Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I have a concept for you, an unfinished one, one where I've gone, do you know what, I don't think this is going to go anywhere, but let me give you the context. Uh, Python was discussing the new blocks which are going to be crafted out of nether warts and suggesting that it would be a good idea to go look at nether wart farms again and perhaps improve them. And it gave me an idea immediately. Immediately this popped into my head, so I thought I'd come over here and test it out. So, we're going to use the translocator bug to move the nether warts from down here through the pistons up above and the water is going to you know, move it all to a collection point. And then the redstone on top will actually bud power the pistons and with a block update provided by this piston over here, it will actually activate them. So I think that's really cool and something worth sharing, which is why I decided to make this video um, on the second channel. So... Um, you can replant them like this. I can technically go a little bit further back, but that's because I'm in creative mode. So you could do four in a row like that, um, but then your water at the top would need to be cut off if it were flowing towards you because it would fall over the edge. Um, so then you could power this thing, bam. Some of them pop out of the front. I don't think any of them pop out of the sides. If they did, like that one there, that would probably not happen if all of this was filled in right. All those items may have been there from a moment ago because I've been doing a lot of this. So there's probably improvements to be made. Uh, but then you break the torch and the nether wart gets sucked up above. Is that actually all of it? <laughs> uh, a moment ago this looked a lot better when I did it. Maybe I need to fill in all of these bits. Hi creeper, get out of the way. And that would be slightly different just there because that block needs to move down. Let's try that once again. Um, the other idea that I had though was that you could like go in, plant down all of your nether warts like this, and as you walk back out again, you place the soul sand. And I just thought, do you know what? That's a little bit silly for survival Minecraft, isn't it? So um, this would be how that would work, though. Obviously, I'm not filling in every spot because we're recording a video. Just wanted to demonstrate this to you. And since we've done already done a little bit of live uh, like fixing of the design, we can fill in this gap back here as well. So this should mean all of the nether wart is contained with the exception of that one bit right there and you could probably change that as well using slime blocks and stuff anyway let's press that bam so the only place for them to come out at is the front we can see all of the other ones glitching around there and then they get sucked up to the top yeah so I might play around with this a little bit more and if you guys have got any ideas feel free to leave a comment and let me know because if this could be a little bit more convenient to use then I think it would be alright I think it's got something to do with the way you plant it down like this and do you know what, if we didn't have all of that back there, and we had signs above the water stream above us, you could technically go this way for as long as the redstone would extend, and you could continue branching the redstone out and having repeaters to um, extend the signal. So that actually might be quite possible. Then in terms of survival Minecraft, this is definitely over the top. With loads of pistons going into it, lots of redstone, not particularly desirable. Um, the input here would be like a... Um, a short pulse after a button, so it'd go like that, and all of the items would get sucked up high. <laughs> and, uh, oh, well, if you want to know what that's about, little spoiler for an upcoming episode of uh, Myth Busting, I guess. Not this weekend, next weekend, I think. So, yeah, uh, that's my idea. And as I've made this video, I am starting to think, you know what, this isn't half bad. I just need to think it through a little bit more, because as I've just had a little chat with you, more prominent ideas have come to mind. Anyway, uh, as I said, leave some feedback down below if you like it, if you've got any suggestions, and perhaps I'll make a tutorial on this if it turns into a proper farm. And I hope you enjoyed this casual little video. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.